Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm going to talk you through this strange tree stump section and how to get past Grand Sappy as it turns out to be in Paper Mario the Origami King. Hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. But essentially you get into this area and you're not too sure what to do. As it turns out, all you need to do is keep on looping around and around and around and eventually you will find things change. You can see that Olivia gives you quite a good prompt that says just keep on going and that's essentially what you need to do. And once you keep on looping around, eventually she'll say that she's going to take a little rest and that might help her to work things out. When she has a little sit down on the stump, she gets a shout from the three trees over on the left hand side who come to life and tell you off for sitting on Grand Sappy's head. Once you get down, Grand Sappy will wake up and tell you that he needs a seed to revive him. Now you will have picked up the seed a little bit earlier and once you continue on around, you'll eventually come to this water area here. They'll essentially let you through and it's a simple case of going around the corner to get to here. Throw the seed into the water and that will revive it and turn it into a soul seed. Then all you need to do is head on back to Grand Sappy, fill him back in with confetti and give him the seed and that will allow you to get past Grand Sappy and complete the tree stump section here in the Whispering Woods in Paper Mario the Origami King. Hopefully that helps you out and like I said earlier if it does drop a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and check out the rest of my guide to Paper Mario the Origami King with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments and I'll catch you next time.